Green, we're learning more today about a woman who was killed while riding her bike to work yesterday in the district. Sean O'Donnell was riding to her job at the State Department when a large truck ran her over. This happening just blocks away from the White House. Her family spoke with News 4's Mark Seagraves about their loss and their outrage. She's she lives now in my heart. There's no other place for her to be because this truck driver took her. Mary O'Donnell is still trying to process the death of her daughter, Sean. Her life was stolen from her. It was stolen from her. Sean O'Donnell was killed yesterday morning as she was riding her bike to the State Department where she worked as a Foreign Service officer. I'm going to have a really big hole in my heart for a really long time if, if that ever goes away, which I'm sure it won't. I have lost my father before but there is no pain like this. Sean's sister recalls Sean's recent adventure to climb Mount Kilimanjaro just before her 40th birthday. Just one of a list of accomplishments that included traveling to more than 50 countries and speaking three languages. And she says there was something she and her sister were both looking forward to. And she'll never meet her, her nephew and I'm six months pregnant and she was so excited to be an auntie and um, it's just heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Her family tells News 4 she gave up a lucrative career in the private sector to help others, including refugees. She was about using the talents God gave her to help people that couldn't help themselves in many ways. And then she survived India during the pandemic, where she could smell bodies burning in the street because it was so severe. She comes back here to go to Turkish language school. And being an environmentalist, she rides her bike to work and gets killed going to work by a truck who said she was in his blind spot. O'Donnell is the third cyclist killed in the district this month. You all have a very bad record of cyclists getting either killed or seriously injured in D.C. O'Donnell's family is raising questions about whether safety regulations are being enforced in the district, including a requirement that heavy-duty vehicles registered in D.C. have side underrun guards that prevent someone from being pulled beneath a truck. If there had been sidecars, my daughter would still be alive. She would not have been sucked up and mutilated under that truck. She would not have, it would not have happened. She would still be alive. Now in the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. A spokesperson for the company that owns that truck told News 4 that the truck is registered in Maryland and therefore was not required to have those side guards. The truck did have a D.C. tag, but that tag is only a hauling permit, not a registration. Police need your.